Right, picking back up on the Top Studio Pottery Tools series. Today's video is on modelling tools. So these are balls on the end of a stick, basically. Um, the cheap ones, which I've been using up until now, are like this. You can get them on Amazon for not a whole lot of money or in the multi-packs of toolkits for beginners. Um, I think the idea when you buy them is to just, when you're sculpting, you kind of use them to shape the clay. What I use them for is when I'm trimming and burnishing the bottom of a pot, what I do is I trim across the bottom, I will then burnish relative, so this is a way of adding a foot without having to trim one in, which means I don't have to throw one, which means I'm not wasting clay. But um, what I do is I burnish the centre bit smooth, and then I take the ball modelling tool, and I just press it in, and you can see, hopefully, that I've defined the foot there. And what I've done is I've just rounded the clay, and then I smooth out the inner part of that, and round over where it's fine. Now, this is a very easy way to add a foot without trimming. So if I show you a piece, I've got essentially a foot ring with no, I haven't trimmed away the clay. What I've done is just bent it in slightly. Um, they give a really nice radius because obviously you've got a, a large metal ball shape. So it burnishes the inside of the radius and gives you a continuous shape. Um, they're really good for smoothing out any form of curve where you want to compress the whole curve, they're great for that, so you can get them in a, a bunch of different sizes depending on what you're doing. Uh, and the final thing I do first when trimming is I would add a little spiral from the centre outwards, like that. Again, because it's a larger um, ball shape and I'm doing this on leather hard clay, it gives a really nice edge, there's no sharp edges, so you don't need to go and go back and finish that. That um, is, a, is a finished pot. Um, I can trim the bottom of something like this and have it finished and how I want it uh, using those speeds up but you can do that kind of in 60 seconds uh, and you get a really nice effect but the point with them is that the cheap ones are really cheap so it's worth if you trim stuff and want to give this a go I think you can get a set of like kind of eight tools like this for probably about eight pounds, eight dollars, something like that. So give it a go with those if you want to test it out. The only good ones I've seen on the market are by Zeem, who make a lot of the things that I recommend. So I'm assuming these are going to be really good. I have not had them long enough to know if this is also just plated, because the reason that I've stopped using the cheap ones is that I've worn through, if you can see that, Tell where focused is, um, but I've worn through the plating, and then what happens is they go rusty. So they start off, I guess, chrome plated, but they're they're stainless when they start. But if you're doing this, there's enough friction to wear through it. So I'm hoping the Zine ones are solid stainless steel. They're a bit more pricey, so um, fingers crossed they are. But if you want to just give it a play, buy the cheap ones, see what you think. But they're really good for if you trim a bowl and you want to define the inside of a foot. For example, I have uh, this piece here that's becoming a sort of, well it's actually a fruit bowl, but like a, a colendary berry bowl, whatever you want it to be. But you can see there, there's a continuous radius that's really neatly defined on that, which I found really difficult to trim that neatly but if you trim to how you want it and then compress it with one of those you get a smooth curve same on the outside that curve was defined with one of the ball shaping tools and it just gives a level of finish that's hard to achieve with a curve otherwise because there aren't many tools that will give you a burnished finish on a curve that's consistent even the, um, the silicon tools like those ones which I highly rate for finishing with soft clay they can't they're not solid enough to give you a defined 
burnished curve on leather hard clay. So those balls are great. Um, the cheap ones are fine. They'll last you, I think I probably replace a set kind of once a year. But uh, you do have to make sure you're not using the bits that go rusty once you've worn through the, the veneer because then you'll start to put iron on your clay and obviously um, there are some things that will burn off in the firing but iron is not one of them so if you're using a white clay you end, actually end up with iron lines that stay put and will affect the clays so uh, hopefully the zine ones are better ask me after this video six months old and I'll tell you but I don't know at the moment but uh, yeah great underrated tool I've not seen many things talking about how good they are, but genuinely one of my favourites.